Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. Previously in my other videos, we have learnt about different topics such as product setup, attribute, different type of pricing including subscription pricing, one time pricing and block pricing, how these things can be set up via Salesforce CPQ. Today we are going to see a very important functionality of Salesforce CPQ which is known as guided selling that can help us to increase our sale based on user interaction. So quickly jumping to our agenda, today we are going to learn what is guided selling, how it works, a basic use case, how to set up those terms and the demo of the setup as well as the use case that we have built using guided selling. So first of all what is guided selling? So guided selling is a process that helps potential buyer of product or service to choose the product best fulfilling their needs and hopefully that guides the buyer to buy that particular product. Now how it works? So it works based on a series of questions being asked to user and based on user's responses only those related products will be shown to the user so it will be easy for user to select from. Okay. Now let's see a use case. So the use case is a company is selling laptop of different brand. Having a large catalog, they want to simplify the user experience by providing an interactive way. They want the user to provide their input about their need and based on that, user will get products of their choice. Imagine a company is selling more than 1000 or 2000 or 5000 product, right? It would be hard for user to search it out, right? That need. But if we provide them a questionnaire and based on that selection, we provide them result, it would be really great for user to select through, right? And that's the same thing, use case that we are having and where guided selling can help us. So let's see how we can set up that. So for those questions, we have to create few fields, right? So create the relevant fields on product two object, create the same relevant fields, those we are using in guided selling, those fields needs to be created on process input object. Add the API name of those fields created on product to object to product field on process input object. And we are going to see this, so don't get confused. Add the API name of the field created on process input object to the input field on process input object. Then create a quote process record. Create the process input records related to code process for each and every uh, question to be asked. And then if we have any conditional question, then we have to create a process input condition wherever conditional process input is required. Moving forward to the next slide, which is talking about let's review the setup and the demo. So let's see the setup. So as we talked about, we have to create several fields on product, same fields we have to create on process input object. So if you see over here, we have created several fields called memory, processor, storage, upgrade storage, upgrade to, and there will be a brand. So those fields need to be created on process input object, we created. The same field needs to be created on product objects, so those product objects on product object, we have created those fields as well. So those are there, upgrade to storage. So all those fields that we are going to use being created over here. Now, the thing was, there was another field called product field on process input object. So whichever field that we have created such as brand, storage, storage input, the API name of those fields will go as a pick list value over here. So you can see like brand, processor, memory, storage, extra storage, upgrade storage and upgrade to those fields we have added over here. Hmm. That was the third point that we were talking about. And the fourth point was adding this process input fields to input field field. Right? So those fields which we have created are available as a pick list value over here as well. So that was the fourth point. Now it was regarding to the quote process. So we have to go to quote process tab 
and create a new code process we have created laptop guided sending this is the configuration initializer so if we want to choose which product configuration page a custom visual force page can be used as product configurator we can choose it over here and the search executor as well we can also provide a short order now if our product is uh, let's say based on users requirement or only one product is being selected right or is it's coming as an output so whether to select the product auto selected or not and this is for guided only like if you want to guide user only right so this is the code process record now we were talking about creation of process input and here actually uh, all the inputs will be taken up right so let me just open up one record so that we can get the idea about so there is one process input that we have created which is named as brand the label is which brand of laptop you are looking for so whenever this question or whenever a pop-up gets open the first question will be ask as which brand of laptop you are looking for then we have selected the brand field which is of process input right and this is the product field. so what basically it will do is it will actually compare like whatever value that we have entered over here it will actually compare with the product record which is having the same brand right so that way all the comparison is being done same way there are other records that we have created right so as we can see we have created a question for processor right? we have created a question for memory we have created a question for storage right? all looking at a relative field like on product we have created an upgrade storage and now let's say we want to show this field when a specific value is being selected on some other field. so for that we have to create process input right so as you see we have created two process input right so when this upgrade storage will be visible so that is based on these two like when the storage equals to 56 gb or the storage equals 512 gb then only this process input will be visible and the criteria that we defined or criteria where can we define that that can be defined over here like condition met if it is set to all then both of the criteria will be evaluated now we have set up to any so only one criteria will be evaluated and if it is true then we'll see this question in our questionnaire same way for upgrade to what we have set up this like if upgrade to storage is selected to yes then only show this question to the user so now let's quickly check it out so i am on card page right i'll click add product to go on to the product selection screen and immediately we'll be able to see a guided selling and a series of questions being asked and this is the question those we have created here right and you see the label is coming from here okay. now we'll simply cancel it for a now so that we can see uh, values being stored on those particular record so we see a brand name is lenovo dell dell Lenovo. so four type of laptop we are here and two brands of laptop processor memory storage upgrade storage upgrade to and the list spread the most important thing is whichever products we are referring to those should have those values being populated on those products right so on this product we have already been we have already populated this values right and that's why we are seeing it and then only guided selling will work okay so that is the first thing that we have to keep in our mind that please populate all those fields value on those product in order to make guided selling working that's why 
uh, we have to populate that otherwise like when we talk about this conditions right where would it evaluate to so make sure those values are being populated now if we do not see the pop-up we can click this icon over here also we are seeing four uh, questions so we'll select like which kind of laptop or which brand of laptop you want let's say i'll select dell and click suggest so what will happen is only dell laptops will be visible you see we are seeing only laptops which are having brand as dell again going here processor let's say i want to see core i3 processor and that's not present at all right so that will show us a blank catalog where i'll select core i5 so that suggests one laptop because that's the configuration available now what i'll select is i'll select 8 gb because we are having 8 gb memory only and we'll select 256 uh we'll select 512 and i'll see this right so that's why we are getting it if we have selected 256 we won't be able to see the result right because we don't have any laptop available there right now what i'm doing is i'm quickly clearing it out so we are now able to see all the product and now from here i'm just going to see like which one I want? I want 16 GB uh, laptops with memory. I want uh, 250 GB, 256 or 512 GB as a storage space, and I'll click suggest. So that means I'm able to see two products which are having Core i5, Core i7, they know and brand because we didn't have added any picklist value for that. So that's why it's searching both of them. We have selected memory, so it's having 16 GB memory, storage, it's having 2512 GB. And now we are able to see this. We want to upgrade the storage because our values are this, right? So if I select none, it won't be visible now. As we selected 512 GB as storage, it's visible. And now what I'll say is, let's say I say yes, because I want to upgrade my storage. I don't want 512 GB. So that's why I'll select yes and then we'll able to see like what at what level we want to increase storage so it will again have 1 gb or 2 gb so there may be a possibility of a laptop can go up to what extent of upgradation right on the storage so based on that we'll select let's say 1 tb if we select 1 tb then leno will be visible to us and if we select 2 tb then we'll be able to see uh, Dell laptop visible. Right? So let's see and let's suggest. Right? As you see, Core i7, 16 GB, 512. So storage upgrade is possible, and we can upgrade to 2 GB. And simply we can make it to 1 GB, and we'll be able to see a Lenovo laptop, right? Because that can be upgraded to 1 GB. So you see how simple it was to set up a guided selling, and this way a users can be easily uh, able to select their product, search their product based on their need. If this is the case, uh, the relevant user information, uh, relevant information can be asked to user and user will be happy with the result that he is seeing because imagine thousands of product he has to search for and in single clicks, few clicks, he will be able to see this product. Right? So that way it can be set up and demoed and thank you very much for watching the videos. Please subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Thank you.